expanded log and that gives me a timestamp along with what it's doing as it's loading the bot okay now you also notice by doing that that opened up all of these plugins now earlier I told you for instance I might not use help or chat or something like that those plugins then would not be up uh, up here if we move them out of the main plugins folder they just won't show up uh, so that's how to get rid of a lot of this stuff up here all right all right now I personally like going to ZMC which is all the way to the right so we just click that little right arrow a number of times till it gets to the very last plugin we click on that plugin now this probably looks familiar to you all right this is the same thing you get when you go from Facebook to try to log in to cafe this is where you accept your gifts this is where you join missions this is where you uh, send parts and so forth and just like Facebook you can do it right here but without the flash all you need to do is click on them now normally most of you would just go down and click everything but I am part or I am the founder of the crazy cooks cafe clan uh, and we don't allow our mission or, or our uh, clan members to join a mission that has not been or well I shouldn't say join a mission but we don't allow members to start a mission that has not been declared by the clan so I don't want to do any any joining now these here this person needs beef skewers I don't mind giving those to them I'll help anybody out uh, so I'll go ahead and, and click on those but if it was a join mission I wouldn't do that obviously uh, these people need pastry puffs so I'll go ahead and do those for them and so forth once I have done all of those and send all the parts all right and all of those are gone let's make sure looks like they all are oops there's two more in there so I'll go ahead and send those so it looks like we're up oh, we got some help requests still here but you get the general idea once we get all of these out of here uh, and this is cleared all we need to do is we can go back to the top of that page and click refresh now what will happen is this will actually reload for us and show us if we have any new requests or if we're totally done with our requests and as we can see I don't have any other requests pending there so we're done with this one that's all you had to do to get that set up alright now we're gonna go to a very important plugin called visit neighbors in order to utilize this plugin we need to fix a couple of things here we have to actually enable it we all we have to do is click on visit neighbors here click on a uh, visit pending click on enable eat missions spice missions and outdoor missions this will go spice every single neighbor in your uh, cafe all right nice feature all right because one thing that we have to understand even more so than cooking dishes visiting your neighbors gives you your most points coins everything that this has got to be taken care of so we're gonna click on each one of these and then we're gonna notice down here I have 800 800 neighbors at this particular time I'm gonna change that to 100 because I am sure not gonna visit 800 neighbors in one cycle I don't want to do that I'll do eight cycles of 100 and then I'll click uh, the save button so let's go ahead and do that okay so I've got them all checked I've changed this to 100 all I have to do now is click save alright now that it's saved once it is ready to go I can move on to the next one 
Next one is multi-dish. Some of you will use this, some of you won't. I'm going to explain the difference. Uh, in settings, which we'll get to later, uh, you can set it to cook all your stoves with, say, barbecue chicken. All right, And your deep fryer, let's say you want to do uh, onion rings. You can set it in there to do that. I like using, I have a 50% stove. In other words, it cuts my cooking uh, cooking time down to 50%. So I don't want to just cook chicken on my 50% stove. If I'm doing a mission or the clan is doing a mission that uh, also requires maybe a 24 or two day uh, item on it, why not cut that in half? So I'm going to show you how to set this up. So. Use multi-dish if you can. I, you'll love it, guys. I, I swear to God, you'll love it. So, in the particular mission I'm on right now, for my clan members, I need barbecue chicken. So, I'm going to click on barbecue chicken, and then just simply go over here to previous, and click previous. Now, do you see what's happening on the left side over there? Every time I click previous, barbecue chicken is automatically popping up to be cooked on that stove. So I'm going to do that all the way down until I get to my 50% stove. All right. And then I'm going to show you a little something different here. So we're going to go ahead and finish these off. We only have a few more to go to get to 50% there. All right. So now I'm at my 50%. Well, all right. In this current mission that we're on that we're redoing for the lower level uh, clan members who don't have three stars right now, we also need angel fruit cakes. They take a day to cook. Now, why would I put those up here if I didn't have to, when I can put it on a 50% stove and do it in 12 hours? Kind of a common sense thing there. So I put that one on there. Now I got to finish off the rest of my stove, so I'll go ahead and put barbecue chicken on the next one after that, and then right below that one, click on previous again. Now that takes me, I'll do that all the way down, all right, to my deep fryer. Obviously, yeah, I can't cook barbecue chicken in a deep fryer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to whatever I wanted. My personal thing, I'm going to use onion rings right now. How's that? All right, so I've got those all set up. All I need to do is go right back up here to the top. I recommend this. I'm doing it in three steps. I understand that. But click Save Multi-Dish. All right. That will now save all of those items to your stove. But we're not done. Important thing is we're not done. All right. See this lock? I want you to click on Lock All. I just put a check mark in there that locks these dishes into your multi-serve okay or multi-dish sorry and then I want you to click on CK all which means cook all of those items on your stove okay and once again I want you to click save multi-dish alright so what we've done is we've locked and we've done every Every single stove we have. Now I understand I have a lot of stoves, uh, but we've now set that up. All right. So multi dish is done. So let's look at some of the other plugins here real quick. Remember, don't forget to save that. All right. Now we're going to look at Link Collector. What is Link Collector? Well, Link Collector. Let's say you needed stocks of celery or heads of lettuce or you just wanted some extra bacon cheeseburgers or whatever it's all in here for you and, and and we try to update these as much as possible this is where you can click on accept and get those items alright nice 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 plug in there alright next one down below that is gift box now there's been some recent changes to gift box by Zynga uh, used to be you just collected up a bunch of stuff in your gift box and you served them on your counters and this was awesome for that uh, 
now Zynga has changed that to where you can actually store those up and let's say you're in a mission you're getting ready to do a, a, a catering mission that needs those barbecue chickens again well you might have 40 completed orders of barbecue chicken sitting in your gift box waiting to be used if you don't use this bot or this uh, uh, particular plugin uh, the crazy cooks cafe clan members I recommend you do not use this plugin uh, because it's gonna uh, it's gonna serve dishes that you might need for mission later and what I'm talking about there is a video uh, already posted that explains this more but in short uh, what we do in the clan is we store up the items that we know we're going to need for missions and then once a mission's declared let's say I got 10 friends that all need three stars on this particular mission and it requires barbecue chicken what I would do is go to my cafe world and go to my gift box and let's say I had 40 of those barbecue chickens in there once they've all started their mission and I've joined it what I can do is click on serve all and instantly all 10 of the people that I joins mission have uh, 40 barbecue chickens done they don't have to cook 40 of them maybe they didn't need 40 but they got more than what they needed that way do you see what I'm saying but just in case you're not part of the clan and and you want to use this what I would do is set this part right here under number of gifts to serve per cycle to 100 then I would also set it to non-stop serve by clicking this box and then all you need to do